Hawaii trip planning, summer of 2022. Here we go. We are heading into the summer season, which is historically a very busy time for travel. So kids are out of school, families are ready to travel, and the summer is a great time to visit Hawaii because we generally get less rain here. Generally, we get a lot less rain, a lot of sunny days, it's a nice time to come. So here are seven tips for planning your summer 2022 vacation, because even the last few months, a lot has changed, especially with COVID. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. One is there is no more safe travels program if you are not in the know the safe travels program was the 14 day quarantine program that they had going on here so you could either test or show a vaccine card to skip the quarantine anyways you don't need to know that because it is no longer in existence which means you can come visit Hawaii without having to upload anything or do a quarantine one thing to note is the mask mandate has been dropped at the state level now for international travelers it's still a little bit complicated just a little bit if you are are clearing customs in Hawaii, you still have to follow the COVID restrictions for the federal guidelines. But if you're a national traveler who does like a layover on the mainland, then you're treated as a domestic passenger. So you can just hop on the flight and come on over. Tip number two, make sure you reserve your rental car early. Book your flight, book your car. It, they go hand in hand. Hopefully we won't see another great rental car crisis like we did in 2021, where rental cars were going for like $1,000 a day at one point, which was crazy. But during the spring, we saw prices already at $100, $150 a day, and we're watching them steadily increase as the summer gets closer. So when we say book them soon, we mean book it right now. And we recommend Discount Hawaii Car Rental. We love them because there's no prepayment, so you can book it and then watch how prices go. Also, they get great rates but we have you covered. Check our link in the description below because we share our favorite Hawaii rental car discount sites plus a bunch of local guys. So if you're looking for a good local deal, like a nice rental rack, check our links below. If you don't want to rent a car when you come to Hawaii, then Oahu is the island for you to visit. On that island, there's great public transport. You can get electric scooter, you can get bikes. There's tons of ways to get around. For example, if you want to head to Pearl Harbor from Waikiki, it's only about a 20 minute Uber or Lyft ride out there. When you go to Pearl Harbor, there's nothing more unique than the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. We want to thank the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum for their continued support of this channel. And get this, the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum, after waiting so long, they're finally opening up their air traffic control tower. This is a World War II era tower, and they're opening up on Memorial Day weekend. They are excited. It's going to be a big opening. We haven't been there since construction. So we were up there where it was still working on it and trying to finalize it. We've been talking about this for a long time. Only a limited number of people a day can get to the top. So book your tickets early. If you're going to Pearl Harbor, check out the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. There's so much to do and see there. Great history. Pearl Harbor was an air raid. So if you really want to get into the history, you gotta go check out that museum. Click the link in the description below for more information. And it's great for all ages, right? So kids through adults, everyone can find something really interesting and something to enjoy at the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. That's what Tom Cruise would have been flying. Yeah, and Goose in the back seat. Yep. And you can even go in the flight simulator like this guy did. Which didn't go well for me, no. but maybe you'll do better. The hot topic that we've been getting a lot of emails about, which is hotels. Hotel rates are going a little bit bonkers right now. So here's a sampling of hotel data right now that we got. So February data that came out, this is official data from Hawaii Tourism Authority. So for February, Maui was once again the most expensive island to visit with an average daily rate of $524 in Ka'at Nepali, $804 in Wailea. That's up 35% from 2019. But the other islands are also seeing this high increase in prices. So Hawaii and Kauai are seeing a 25 to 60% higher rates than 2019 levels, with 6% higher being the Kohala Coast on the Big Island. That's a luxury resort area. So getting very expensive, right? And get this, we've been trying to book our Kauai summer vacation trip, and a lot of our favorite Marriott properties like Koloa Landing and the Sheraton are already full. They're already full through July. But here's a crazy tip. For Waikiki, you can actually find some really good deals right now. They have the lowest occupancy rate right now, 15% lower than 2019 because Air National Travel hasn't come back. So you can find like hotels in Waikiki in February for $224. In our research for the summer, Waikiki still looks like a good deal. So they're about the same rates as 2019 or even lower in a lot of situations. So huge difference. And we should say good deal with some clarification. It's still not going to be cheap, but you are going to find 
good value there compared to the other islands. That's a really good point because when our price research from 2019, a trip to Hawaii for a family of four increased 30%. So we're expecting a busy summer, but also there's a lot of price shock, a lot of sticker shock for people coming to Hawaii. It's gotten very expensive to come out here. So just run your numbers, maybe before you book those flights and those, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Now, a lot of people say, how about vacation rentals to save? It's a good idea, but supply is down and demand is up on vacation rentals. So we're also seeing 12% to 6% higher rates for vacation rentals. You can still find some deals out there. If it's too good to be true, probably is and watch those fees and just know what you're looking for we find it usually best for big groups but it's not always the case so that's vacation rentals for you so number four is make sure you make those restaurant reservations if you have a place in mind that you really want to go eat at anecdotally what we've seen from restaurants here on maui is that during social distancing and a lot of covid regulations they had to cut their capacity to maintain six feet of space between tables and some of them haven't really brought back full capacity they're allowed to by the state but they just chose not to because of staff shortages and also they just like the vibe of less people in the restaurant so it might be a little bit harder to get one of those top reservations that you really had your heart set on but I can't stress this enough, do not despair because there are so many great restaurants on every single island and a lot of them don't actually require reservations. So expand your horizons. If you can't get a table at Mama's Fish House on Maui, you can pick up delicious fish from Paia Fish Market. They also have one in Waikiki. And no, we're not saying Paia Fish Market is the same as Mama's, but you are gonna get good fish and you are gonna love it. Also, we love food trucks. If you watch our channel, you know that. We love food trucks. You can find some great local chefs serving up local ingredients at a good price. You can get a food truck plate lunch for about $18, cheaper on Oahu. Going to a food truck, you get a variety of different options. So there are some food trucks serving Hawaiian plate lunches, other food trucks that are serving things like lobster benedict. So there's a wide range of what you can experience. We just updated the quick hit section in the Hawaiian Island itineraries with all of our favorite restaurants, more of what we like on each of the islands, plus we identify which ones require reservation, which ones are gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan. We do our best to share that information with you. Click the link below to learn more about our Hawaiian Island itineraries, which everybody loves, I swear. Number five, we get this question a lot because things are a change in Hawaii. Reservations are now required. Not as prevalent as people think though. There's really just three no four major areas in hawaii that require reservation at state parks and beaches so book ahead if you really want to do it so for example haleakala sunrise requires a reservation booked in advance wainapanapa state beach the black sand beach on maui and then haena state park on Kauai. those all require reservations so you just want to book that stuff ahead it's not possible to get it actually doesn't even cost much usually they just charge you a dollar they just want to help control it to help preserve those areas of historical significance in outstanding areas of natural beauty and don't forget hanama bay oh hanama bay is a big one also yeah. too Number six is consider some cool and unexpected activities for your summer trip. So I know you have a friend who came to Hawaii and had the most incredible time doing that one thing that they did. And now you're looking at it and it's either sold out or you're not going to that island or it's too expensive or whatever. Don't, don't think that that is the one thing you have to do when you come to Hawaii. Consider some really cool and other unexpected experiences like heading to a farm tour. There's here on Maui, we have alpaca farm. We have a bee farm. We have a coconut farm. We literally so many farm tours. Surfing goat dairy. You can see yeah. goats and they make their own cheese. And that's just Maui, right? The big island has that too. You can go to an octopus farm on the big island we just did that it was so much fun so cool Leap below on that one and all the islands have all these unique things to do manta ray snorkeling that's only on the big island right and you do that at night it's amazing so are we list our favorite tours and activities down in the links below so like erica says don't box yourself in with like a sunset sail or a snorkeling trip those are great but if they fill up try to find something else unique a waterfall hike which we just did yeah that was so cool so there's so many great things we can't stress that enough hawaii is such a cool place to visit for all these cultural things to do ways to get out in nature i'm talking way too much but we just get excited about the tours so head to our website because we have all of our favorite tours and activities listed out there some of them you probably don't even realize you can do when you come out here and so it's a great place to get started with your research Number seven, the last one, this one is near and dear to our hearts. We want you to visit Hawaii and we also want you to come back someday. So keep yourself safe. The ocean is the highest cause of death for people visiting Hawaii. So never turn your back on the ocean, check lifeguard flags, know the conditions before you go out. If in doubt, don't go out, enjoy the beaches. The best part about visiting the summer is that the beaches are at their calmest. So South Shore swells are less than North Shore swells. So the conditions are better during the summer, but always check those lifeguard flags and make sure it's safe before you go out 
and when you are here and you are keeping yourself safe on the beach and in the ocean make sure you are keeping the ocean safe so wear that reef safe sunscreen wear that sun protective clothing make sure you are giving sea life their space especially monk seals sea turtles dolphins those are all protected and you got to give them some room never walk or step on the reef so people ask oh should i bring water shoes we don't recommend it it's nice sandy beaches here and plus if you have water shoes you just want to start walking around yeah. so anyways we have a list of our favorite hawaii packing items down below we yeah. like to keep a minimalist kind of approach to hawaii because it's hot here i like to wear a tank top and shorts when i go out you do you do your thing <laughs> Do I need to dress better? Is that what you're saying <laughs> right now? Know. That's I what know. I heard in your voice. I just heard that a little bit. It's a new t-shirt. This is my fancy one. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching. If you're looking for more things to do in Hawaii, we have our itineraries, which we're very biased, but we love them. So does everybody who purchases them. Our itineraries are grab and go. So what that means is whether you are planning a year out or a day out, you can take our itineraries, look at what to do and set off on a path to go explore some amazing things around the island. Plus, like we mentioned, we have our quick, quick hit section, which lists our favorite restaurants, beaches, snorkeling sites and where to stay. So make sure you check out the itineraries at the HawaiiVacationGuide.com slash itineraries. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great Thank trip you. to Hawaii this summer.